What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're on a viewer's account, uh, Fritoger, I believe is how it's pronounced, again, you guys know I'm horrible with names, but if you guys want me to open up some stuff for you guys, I'm always available, hit me up on Discord, we'll see if we can get some schedule, today we're going to be doing a combination for this pretty powerful account right here, uh, only VIP 9, but been playing for quite a while, has a ton of Transcendence Heroes, has an O1 Shia going, uh, lots of food ready to go as well, so there's tons of projects that can be done. I think there's two things we're going here for today. Uh, we have 110 cores. I think we're just going to stick to 100 of them. Uh, at least that's what we talked about. We are going to be going for Freya's and Amon um, Ra's, and of course, of course, we're going for Fate. Now, have said, if we manage to hit 10 cores, he wants us to also then do five EOS summonings here. If we don't hit it, we won't, but uh, let's see how this goes first. So Freya, just double checking, Freya and Amun-Ra. Okay, so those are the two we're going to go for. Actually, how many Freya copies do we have right now? Doesn't look like any Freyas, one Freya copy in total. Okay, so yeah, we definitely need some Freya copies, but what we really want more than that are those spheres for more Stellar Shards, especially since the new Origin Tree requires Stellar Shards as well. So, fingers crossed, we're hoping for 10. Probably not going to get 10. That seems a little optimistic, but wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> we just got two cores. This is another huge spoiler event, isn't it? Earn my course, right? We got two spheres right off the bat. Holy cow. Um, okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. So let me take a look here. How many heroes has he summoned? Oh, so we're only going to get spoiled on one more summon. Okay, okay. That was pretty cool, though. The first one, we ended up getting two spheres right off the bat. There's the last four. So out of the first four summons, we got none of them. There is number three. Still no hero copies, though. But in reality, we really want those spheres more than even the hero copies. Because hero copies are much easier to come by. We did get an Amon Ra. We're still holding on one every ten, though. Because we're at three and we've done 30. There's number four with a Freya. <sighs> Can we go ten for ten here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a complete whiff on everything. That does not feel good. Come on, let's get something good here. Oh, I mean, double fray is not bad, but we're still sitting at what? Four out of 60, which is exactly on par for what you would get if you went for guidance anyway. It's not like the worst thing in the world. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Ugh, we got a Shia copy there, which is cool for Soul Awakenings, but... <sighs> Coming down to the last 30. Here we go. We need something really, really big here. Okay, we got one. One is good. It's keeping up with what we want. So that puts us at what? Five of them in 80? Yep, five in 80 from the looks of it. Two more to go. Give us something good here. Come on. Come on. Okay, we got another one. Six. <laughs> So we got 6 and 90, which again, is pretty much par for the course. That's good. We are getting guidance levels, so it's good. Getting at least guidance or better is what you always strive for when you use Fate. <sighs> we get a quad sphere pull. We're going to do the one design where we do like straight flat lines back across, back and forth, back and forth. Oh. So that literally turned us to a little bit under par. We only managed to get five out of, oh God, I keep misclicking. We got five, or no, sorry, we got six out of 100. That's not too bad. Because in reality, if we do 100 divided by 15, we should get 6.66. Repeating, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, we get, could do the extra 10. I just don't know if he wants the extra 10 done. He's halfway to another Transcendence Hero. Let me see if he wants us to do the Soul Awakenings. Okay, so it looks like we want to use those last 10, and we're still going to do those Soul Awakenings, even though a little bit sad. Let's hope this one here, let's do a Whirlpool. Let's hope this one is the huge banger that puts us way over the top on Spheres. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, I know you guys love gambling, but like, 
<laughs> this is the way. This is the way. But then again, we're all gotcha gamers anyway. We like to take the chance for the odds, but then it just feels so bad when you don't hit those right odds or anything. You know what? I just realized I feel really stupid. That is the sphere in the middle. <laughs> I just noticed that. Oh, I can't be the only one, right? To notice that the little centerpiece is literally the sphere icon. <laughs> It's a little different here, of course, but it's, it's essentially the sphere icon. Good lord, I... Yes, I play this game all the time, constantly. There's even little things like that I completely miss. So, Soul Temple. Not quite to a free one just yet. We want to do some Eos Awakenings. Let's see if he has some separate Eos copies. Doesn't look like it. They'd be all the way at the top. So, Eos it is. Actually, hold on. Wait a minute. As far as Eos, Eos is like one of the lower ones with Jari. He's got bees on everything else. My goodness, that is some good luck right there. Uh, okay, let's do five of them. Let's see how this turns out. I'm hoping, hoping we pull like one of the best things we've ever pulled right here. Please, please, for a viewer, not even for me. Just give me like the best summon we could possibly get. Uh, not quite yet. Come on, give me, give me like a B at the very least. Could this be our first ever A or S hero? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Nope, 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 nope. Was that our third one right there? All of them bad so far. Yep, two more to go. We're going to save 1,000 here. Come on, be something good. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that is so frustrating. To see two B-rolls and it's not even a B-hero to get the bonus stat. That is such a tease. Oh my god. All right, the last one. This one's going to be an A. It re it's got to be. Well, that was a little anticlimactic because let's be honest, even though that was a high roll there, you know, honestly, stats wise, it's still lower. Good lord. The C roll is like an extremely low C roll. The B minus roll is a lower B minus roll. Like, Come on, how can you get B, double Bs like that and not even be a B tier? That feels so, so bad. If that was a C plus, it then would have been a B, I think. But so close to getting that upgrade. Honestly, though, this account is looking really good. I imagine you are the main householder on this. Maybe not. What do we have? Some low 30s over here. About 50s and 60s. Yeah, I mean, getting the last tenant spot is going to be a little difficult for EOS. Um, looks like you're pretty solid over here. You do, of course, still need more Stellar Shards on all of your heroes. Uh, who else do we have? Vesta's has got like 15 in all of these. Uh, those are all just now nothing. Okay, all right. So, yeah, the Shia is definitely the cream of the crop here. I'm wondering if you spent on this event, though. Did you spend... Doesn't look like he's done anything yet. He's saving up, trying to decide. I mean, this might be one to get to get these guys right here. Get two of them, but then that's going to cost like 350 Not everyone wants to spend that much, so, you know, it is what it is. But there you go. If you guys want a chance to have me open your stuff on a video as well, hit me up. You can share it with your friends, share it with your guildmates, all that fun stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.